which are widespread as used today. It is, however, questioning whether in the majority of cases it is at all possible or even desirable to clearly differentiate between the different possibilities. In the case of Hochdorf, it can be demonstrated that the fabrics have been produced locally. The best example for this are the tablet leaf fabrics incorporate, incorporating the fine undercoat of batch of fulu, while the coarse guard house hair of the fulu was used in the filling of the mattress. The fabric covering, <coughs> the bronzer coat, the cauldron, or the walls have surprising composi compositions. None of the fabrics, none of the border are alike. It's a heat board of the bronzer coat, a bale of cloth is hanging across the bag, consisting of seven different tabby weave fabrics. The fabric's composition is reminiscent of a sample set of a textile manufacturer who wants to be able to showcase a sample of every fabric that has been produced. In this respect, the grave textiles apparently function as an indicator of a production focus of the grave settlement community. Given the quality of fabrics, this would certainly have been a significant economic and face with region. For a start, it is irrelevant in this context whether the textiles had been specially produced for the grave, means a grave textiles, or whether they have been taken from an existing stock. Now I'm coming to the textile production in the middle and neck region. The results from the Hochdorf Tom indicating the regional um, regional production focus have been completed by new research results on the regional arable and farming economy of this period. Within the scope of an interdisciplinary research project by the German research fund DFG on the princely seeds and central places of the early cults in connection with possible indicators for early organization, have examined land use and the alliance of early cultic princely seeds. Among other regions, one of the Fogi was the environs on the Prince's seat of Feuerneburg, Hohen Asberg, and Ips, all located in the southwest of Germany. The Hochdorf town lies within the settlement region of the Hohen Asberg. It was possible to demonstrate how strongly agricultural exploitation was influenced by the environmental parameter of that period. Why the Hohen Asberg wines range among the virtual and climatical favorite region, the climate around the Heunewald is rougher and soil conditions are less conductive to arable farming. Consequently, the Hohen Asberg wines are identified as a so-called production center, which increased cultivated of cereals and other agriculture crops and their flocks of small livestock like sheep and goats were tended in large open landscapes. With regard to raw materials for textile production, the large proportion of lion flax, you can see the, um, of linen flax, and the fines assemblage is such as significant as a large proportion of ovicarpet bone. Equally significant are the results relating to the number of people who could be sustained with a first mentioned economic region when considering under the angel of textile production. The research team concluded that three or four times as many people could be sustained within a radius of one and a half kilometer around the Hohen Asberg as within the same radius around the Heineborg. When considering the immense expansion of human work, labor, and both in the production of textiles starting with cultivating of flux, of including the process in the preparation of flux fibers, the time consuming spinning of wool or flux, the dyeing of the threads of weaving. What becomes apparent in an extremely high requirement of man and woman power. Textile centers require a high population density, which was eventually the case at the Hohen Asper. Hmm. But back to the one topic, to the rural customs. 
sites frequently provide event evidences for orchestration, which we are witness to, to culture-specific traditions. Snapshots, which are unintentional, are among the exceptions. Nevertheless, they can likewise provide into the world of thoughts and belief. There are two context observations from the tomb of Hochdorf indicating that the deposition of the grave goods in the chamber happened in a hurry. The floor of the grave chambers have been covered with a wool tool fabric. When placing on the floor covering bulky and heavy items deposited in a hurry or moved around the grave, a fabric will naturally pucker, which is what, the document, what was documented at Hochdorf. This hastiness is even more evident from the tablet leaf fabrics which decorated the wall hangings in the grave chamber. These fabrics have been attached with coarse iron rocks, hammered right through the textiles, which was evident from the circle of corrosions around the rocks. The value of the ribbons and the huge effort implied by the manufacturer suggests that time constraints must have been the reason for the evident lack of diligence. Obviously, there was only a narrow time slot available for the furnishing of the grave chamber. This implies that the time for the furnishing of the chamber was set a short notice. It means it was dependent upon a specific incident or circumstance. While the above mentioned examples are signs of a snapshot, the following example here represents an orchestration. It remains unclear, however, whether this constitutes part of the funerary ceremonies attended by the bereaved, or whether it was confined to the world of the year after. It concerns a funerary custom which has all been observed in other early Iron Age prehistoric graves, but in Hochdorf it was possible to document in clearly details. Before the grave chamber was sealed, the rich grave goods and valuable personal equipment of the deceased has been covered with clothes. This means that upon entry into the afterworld, the deceased was visibly rubbed all of all visible indicators of his earthly wealth and power and such of his social position. The fact that these clothes did not act as protective covers means <clears throat> protecting the grave goods from dirt is demonstrated by the character of the applications with the clothes wrapped around the objects in multiple layers. The dissociation from any earthly symbol of power, even if only optically, affords an insight into the thought world of people in this time. Thank you very much for your attention.